the city of Mistral. Ugh, it's about time! Whose idea was it to walk again? Well, we did face many obstacles. Broken airships, destroyed settlements... Oh, and, you know, all those people and monsters that tried to murder us. <laughs> we were fine. Only one of us almost died. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so, how much farther to Haven Academy? Almost there. I'd have figured I'd take you kids on the scenic route. here will sell you just about anything, whether they should or not. They really made the most out of these mountains. Every inch. And stay away from the lower levels. But the higher up you go, the nicer it gets. And we are going up! So, how much farther? We're in the home stretch now. No more stops from here to Mistral. Sorry for the long trip. Keeping us off the radar's been harder than I thought. Lots of air traffic around Northern Anima. It's fine. I just hope I haven't been a burden. <laughs> you and your money are more than welcome on this ship, kid. What the? Is everything okay? I don't know. I'm still over Lake Monsu. Shouldn't be picking up broadcast this far from Mistral. Someone must be close. Mayday! Mayday! We are a small passenger flight and our Huntress is down! We aren't equipped to deal with this! Oh, man. The Grim hit us 400 clicks north of the southern shoreline! Get him off us! If anyone can hear this! We're going to help them, right? What? No. I'm trying to avoid them. But they'll die. Look, if we picked up their transmission, I'm sure someone else did too. Besides, this is a cargo ship. She's not much good in a fight. I just want to finish this job and get home. Sorry, kid. My ship, my rules. Louder? There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Well, I guess school isn't really in session right now. Maybe that's it. No, this isn't right. Come on. Wait for us! Get ready. There could be trouble. out loud. You nearly scared me half to death. <sighs> me? Why weren't you waiting for us at the entrance? Huh? Oh, right. Apologies. I guess time slipped away from me. You're joking. Where is everybody? Ah, you must be the students Crow mentioned. Yes, sir. Ruby Rose. Jean-Arc. 
nor Valkyrie. Lyren. A <laughs> pleasure to meet you all. Leonardo Lionheart, at your service. I'm afraid most of my staff is currently away until classes resume, but... What? Leo, you can't be serious. Who's guarding the relic? Crow, the children! Already know. I filled them in. What do you mean your staff is away? You filled them in? So, is this not going at all like anyone thought it would? Unbelievable! Total garbage! We can't, can't let, let them, them get, get away, away with this. this! Well, at least you two can finally agree on something. <laughs> Guys. Everything's gonna be okay. Good evening, miss. Can I get you anything? Just a little time to myself, if that's all right. Sure thing. Just call if you need me. You need better security. Please, I, I just need to talk. How could you take the fall for them, Ilya? Blake. Corsic and Finnick blamed you. We confronted them tonight, and they denied knowing anything, and everything we found on your scroll, they talked about how disappointed they were to hear that you'd sided with Adam. But you and I both know they're guilty. You can't prove anything. That scroll might not have been enough to lock them up, but it's enough to sway the Faunus here. When we go public tomorrow, they're not going to stand for any of it. And neither should you. Your plan isn't gonna work, Blake. Please, just leave Menagerie before it's too late. You're going to have to make me. I know. I have to say, Crow, this all seems very reckless, even for you. No, reckless is leaving one of the relics completely unguarded. It's not checking in with Oz for ages. There was nothing to check in about before the fall of Beacon, but since that day, Mistral has been in chaos. Vale wasn't the only kingdom to suffer that night. Everyone was watching. Every house in every kingdom saw that poor girl ripped to pieces, saw monsters crawling over the city, Elysian knights attacking citizens, and then nothing. You could feel the dread in the air. With all that negativity, you can imagine what it was like when the Grimm came for us. Mistral's controlled territory is the widest reaching in the world, you know, and that makes it infinitely harder to protect. We lost so many great huntsmen teachers from this very institution and it's only gotten worse what do you mean we may have dealt with the grim but the mistral council still at odds with representatives from atlas first it was the dust embargo now it's the closing of borders i'm not sure what happened to james in vale but it seems to have only worsened some of his more unfortunate tendencies and, on top of everything, we still don't know where the Spring Maiden is. All the more reason we need the Huntsman and Huntress is here. Okay! Okay! Things are bad. They're bad. But we can figure this out. Why is the Spring Maiden so important? I thought you filled them in. Mostly filled in. Look, there's a lot to cover, okay? I quit teaching for a reason.
The four maidens each have the power to perform feats of magic. And they are the only ones capable of reaching the relics. What? The relics are each locked inside a chamber that can only be opened by a specific maiden. Winter for the gift of creation, summer for destruction, fall for choice, and spring for knowledge. Spring is the problem. What happened to her? She was determined at first, when she inherited her powers. But the weight of responsibility proved to be too much for the child. She... ran. Abandoned her training, everyone. That was over a decade ago. There's no telling where she could be now. I know. At least, I have a pretty good idea. Are you serious? It's not exactly good news. What are you talking about? This is incredible news! After all these years, where? I did some digging around. Looks like after Spring ran away, she was picked up by bandits. Specifically, the Brownwind tribe. Raven. <laughs> Yang's mom? That's right. That's about where they've set up their main camp. It's where they fall back to after raids and scouting missions. Raven's managed to gain a lot of followers since she returned to the tribe. And I'm sure when the Spring Maiden showed up, it only made things easier. Well, Crow, I've got to hand it to you. With these coordinates, we can mount a retrieval force and head out in a few weeks. A few weeks? That's right. Leo, maybe you didn't hear me. My sister has the Spring Maiden, and I know where she is. We need to go as soon as possible. And perhaps you didn't hear me. This kingdom is in shambles. As soon as possible does not mean tomorrow. It means as soon as I can convince the rest of the Council that I need huntsmen more than they do. Unfortunately, bandit tribes aren't very high on their list of priorities when the threat of war is just on the horizon. Then damn the Council. We'll do it ourselves. You and I are trained huntsmen, and these kids aren't exactly pushovers. Yeah! Perhaps there's a more peaceful way to approach this? We need to get Spring as far away from here as possible, but Raven isn't going to give up her most prized possession without a fight. Unfortunately, you and your sister are evenly matched. And I'm not the fighter I used to be. No offense, but these students and I can't take on an entire bandit tribe and a maiden that's no doubt had years to hone her skills. We need to be positive we can apprehend Spring, because if we fail, Raven and her tribe will scatter and we'll be lost. We get one shot at this, and it needs to be perfect. You know, Oz wouldn't be happy with any of this if he were here. Perhaps you're right. But he's not. I'm doing the very best I can. There has to be something we can do. What about Cinder? She came with Emerald and Mercury from Haven. Do you have anything on them? We pulled their files after the fall of Beacon. Nothing but lies and forgeries. Well, I can't say this has been a warm reunion, Leo. I'm sorry. I know you've all traveled a long way, but I will do everything I can to help. Sure. We'll stay in the city for the time being. Local comms are still up. Keep in touch. Come on, kids. It was nice meeting you, Professor. Likewise.
So, what do we do now? <sighs> you four head back to the house. I need a drink. Excuse me. You know, I don't think they allow kids in here, Pipsqueak. Shut up, I'm getting there. Um... I'm supposed to tell you... I'd like my cane back? Good to see you again, Oz. Aren't you a little young to be drinking? A uh, water. It's hot out. Oh, sure. <laughs> Are you telling me you're too young to drink? You look like a regular huntress, and a beauty at that. I'm good. Thanks, pal. Seriously, not too bulky, not too lean, you're... Just right. Yep. Like I said, I'm good. <sighs> and your hair... This one's on the house. He's been driving me crazy. So, what brings you around these parts? Thanks. And I'm, uh, looking for someone. <laughs> Not many people come out here too far from the kingdoms. Only person worth noting around here is, well, Raven. Raven Bronwyn. Thanks again. Now, now, Missy, you don't want to go messing with bandits. They're a world of trouble. So I hear. <clears throat> hey, girly. Seriously? This isn't over? <sighs> I heard you're looking for someone. Can I help you? Um, yeah, is there a ruby rose here? Why? Well, I found him. <laughs> <laughs> I think her uncle could use some help. Oh. <laughs> Drunk again? Maybe. Oh. 
You have silver eyes. Who are you? <laughs> uh, well, my name is Oscar Pine. Wait for it. You probably know me as Professor Ozpin. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! <laughs>